Metamji was brought to Guyana during the days of slavery all the way from Africa. And today we are going to use fresh fish to make the same dish. And also, you're going to see some nice little fishing in the end with my friends. Of how we call these fish. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice big one. Metamji means plantain makes it better or add plantain to the food. Because plantain, lots of iron and lots of strength. So let me go through the simple ingredients we're using. See here I have yam, edos, a whole bowl of goodness. Some sweet potato, cassava, plantain as I mentioned about earlier. So I'm using some half ripe and full green. And for the meat, we're using fish, the snapper, flounder, redfish, all of which we got. Coconut is the base, so I'm gonna grate these coconut, get the milk out of them, and that's what we're using. Dumpling, I got some fresh veggies, some okra, fresh kalu from the yard. I'm gonna go break these off the stem. Pumpkin, just gonna put corn inside too. And we got all our nice green seasoning. Fresh herbs, you know, this is what makes the food really nice. I'm gonna cut up all this stuff here and we're gonna get back to the um, cooking. All right, we're gonna season up our fish for us. This is my green seasoning. This is, this is blended with some thyme, scallion, broadleaf thyme, some pepper, and garlic. Before I do that, let's put some salt and pepper on this. And then we're gonna add our seasoning directly to that. So for this dish, you can use any type of meat. You got some pork or beef or chicken or goat, you know. We're gonna use fish. It's some snapper head. That is a whole snapper. This is my buddy Leroy caught. Some redfish and some flounder. And stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna actually put a few clips in where we caught these exact three fish. All right, I'm just gonna rest this in the fish. If you notice, I didn't put any different type of seasoning in this because it's a simple dish we're making today. All right, let's get started with this dish. This is our plantains. I got some yam and edos and sweet potato. That's what it is. And the base for this dish, as I said earlier, is coconut milk. So what I did, I kept a little bit of coconut milk separate because I'm gonna make my dumplings with that. So today, let us come up to a boil and then I'm gonna add the other ingredient. Hey, so all right. We're gonna put in our seasoning now. You know, we got our thyme, put in the thyme and hold. We got onion, garlic, pimento pepper, broadleaf thyme and scallion. Don't worry about the time being whole like that. We still gotta take it out when we finish. Just when we're gonna make the dumplings. So I'm gonna show you how we make Guyana style dumpling with baking powder and then we boil it and then we fry it. All right, start the bubble. So just I'm gonna make the dumpling. I'm gonna fry the fish and then we're gonna add the pumpkin and the kalu and the okra. Good Sunday food. Metaji, we're gonna make some dumplings. So it's flour, baking powder, salt, and coconut milk. That's it. Take 
I'm so accustomed to using my fingers for measurement, it's crazy. So you want to put a little bit of salt too. Mix this up well before I add coconut milk and some water. So we're gonna boil this dumpling first, and then we're gonna fry it, then add it to the uh, metaji. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. I'm gonna let it sit aside for about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna put it to boil. You're gonna see that process in just a minute. Let's get a cover for this. Alright, before I roll out this dumpling, I'm going to add the pumpkin and all the nice veggies, kalaloo, okra, and the corn to the uh, pot. Now. See, I didn't add this in the beginning because I don't want it to overcook too. So we just got to add the dumpling and the fish to this now. All right, let me roll out this dumpling and show you how that is done. Ooh, it's hot. See, it's nice and soft. So maybe a handful. I could add this right to the pot, but it's not boiling properly as yet. Just a few more minutes. So you see sometimes it gets very sticky. So you just want to use a little bit of flour, flour the plate. And throw it in the dumpling, just a little, not a lot. So I'm gonna boil this out now. Let me go over to the stove and show you what that is. All right, let's put this dumpling to boil. You could add some salt to this water, but I didn't add any. So we're going to put this to boil maybe about 4 or 5 minutes. Alright, dump in there ready. Mm -hmm. So they all float up. They're almost double in size, but that's good enough right here. One more minute, I'm going to take everything out. I'll put it to air dry here for a few minutes before I, before I fry them in the um, oil. Alright, I'm going to remove these. Alright, we're going to fry the dumplings. We're going to use the same oil to fry the fish after I finish with the dumplings. Alright, let's take out this dumpling. Hey, okay, so let's fry the fish now. This is a snapper. I got plunder and the red fish. Okay, all right. Whilst the fish is frying, we're gonna add the dumpling to the soup. This is gonna soak in all that nice juice in there now. Then we just add the fish on top of this, and the metaji is done. I'm gonna leave one outside. My son loves it just like this. Fish is almost ready, food is almost done, lunch is gonna be ready soon.
the snapper in my body, Leroy caught this one. And the cover just wants to go and eat. The fish. I'm gonna cover this and leave it for five minutes, and that is it. So my buddy and his fiance is here. So Leroy, what do you think about the Metal G? Boy, this stuff is good, boy. I'm telling you, it's the first time I taste this Guyana. And what do you call it? Met MG. Met MG. It's the same I'll as, as Jamaica. It's as good as what we call it, Rondong. I think it tastes a little better than the Rondong, but I love it. It's a fish. I'll show you what you think. one fish and put it in there. Oh, yeah, the Leroy got a stamp up. It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, we're going to go eat lunch now. Here's my bowl. Let's go right into some fishing. These are the fish, the red fish. Snapper and the flounder. You're gonna see all this nice, lovely action. Snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that mangrove. Look at that mangrove. Whoa, he came out at the right time. Woo. You guys check out the right mangrove. Oh yeah, big one in right? Yeah, yeah. It's a nice big one, boy. You better call our school and tell them no to have thought. <laughs> yeah, it's going to work for me. Alright, go put them up, put them up. Change your mullet though, right? Change your mullet. Yeah. Put them back a new mullet. Right, oh, you got a big flounder, look. Woo. Nice big flounder, look. Yeah, yeah. You took a mullet just now? Yeah, I didn't know you were talking. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice red, Adri. You have any net? No. I want a very light line. You're going to get the net for me. You gotta watch if any shark come up and snatch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on the other side. He looks keeper, right? Drop him again, I'm sure. Yo, yeah, lost one over there. Oh, yeah? yeah oh, you guys go back, go back. I, I put on a live shrimp, that's why I got him on. Oh, oh yeah, he's... That's a live yeah. shrimp? Look, that yeah. was a live shrimp too. Yeah. It's good. Barely hooked. I got a bite in that rod at the same time too. Hey, put this in the cooler now. Hey, put this in the... Hey, hey, come put this in the cooler now. What? He's not even hooked. Barely hooked. Alright, go put him in the cooler. That's the first bite all day. Yes. Nice red. Just come up from the end of Nice, big plunder. And snap on. Had a couple of jacks too, but um, give those away. All right, guys, that's the fish for tonight. So I did run and clean up these fish. It wasn't hard. It was dark at night. So there's a red fish to snap on the flounder. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please do remember to leave me a comment, and here are a few more videos for you guys to take a look at.